Okay, so here are part three, or part two, whatever you would want to say for the snare drum. Uh, here, as you can see, all heads are off, and we just have the shell. Um, as you can see, we've got the lugs over there, and the two heads for the drum. Now, let's take a look inside the drum, since I got it off. Basically, inside the shell, I really like the design they made for, um, for the snare, for, um, the snare setup. Um, it's very traditional, but very slick looking, especially for this snare drum. I really love the way they have the, this made. You just slide, as you, if I can, you just slide the, um, bands right through here, and it tunes up really nice. It has a great sound to it. It has a very, I can tune it many different ways, but I would say I usually have, I like to get a fat, dry sound out of it which makes it sound really good. As you can see here on the inside, I really love the way that they have done these, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I just, man, we just gotta take a look. Admire the design of this drum. Look at how just, it looks really, look at the shell, the outside, it just looks really nice. Nice, professionally made piece, whatever you call that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the shell. Uh, I'm gonna kind of show you real quick the proper way to like clean out your shell of your snare drum. Basically, you just want to take like a old dust rag like this and not really hard, just lightly kind of go around the inside of the drum. And then you want to take it and kind of just lightly go along the rim. Now, normally I would be doing this with um uh, some oils. I forget exactly what they are called, but they make oils to do this with for like on the rings of your um the hoops and same thing on the other side I will kind of just come along here so yeah um that's pretty much for that's pretty much it for the shell I'm going to get the snare I'm gonna get I'm not going to record putting the um, lugs and heads back on, but I'm just going to put them on and finger tight everything, and then I'll take you through my tuning process to, for the way I tune my snare to get a fat, dry sound. Um, yes, it does involve lots of E-rings. So yeah, um, there you have it. That's the shell. Uh, shout out to my buddy Connor over there practicing Don't Stop Believing My Journey. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, so stay tuned for vlog three or four hour for the snare drum however you say it because like i said i like to say my first my the first vlog i did involves the snare so i like to say that's part one but however you want to put it so yeah that's it stay tuned for more